Hey guys, today we're going to look at things like routing, bootloaders, recovery, uh, making an Android backup, wiping, flashing, custom zips, custom ROMs, kernels. Um, okay, so if you're into that sort of thing, then let's go. So if you're new to Android and you're not sure what these things are, um, I'm going to give you a quick 101 of what they are and what they do. So the first thing we're going to look at is bootloader. So before you get into rooting your device, which I'll talk about later on, your system is generally locked, which means the bootloader code is locked and no one can access it. So what they do, your manufacturer of your device like Samsung for mine, um, they lock your device because they say that their ROM that they've made is specifically for your hardware and it's optimized to work as best as any ROM can. Now, most people don't believe in this and they believe they want to unlock their phone and some people want to purchase unlocked phones. So if you are going to root your device, you will need to ensure that you have an unlocked bootloader. Uh, my phone is a Galaxy Note and it is the international version. So it was unlocked when I purchased it. Okay, so that's the bootloader. Now we're going to talk about routing, uh, specifically routing your device, or root your device. As you can see, I've got SuperSU, which is a new version of SuperUser, and this gives me access to certain applications that need to access the root directory of my ROM, or my um, file system. So I'm just going to go and show you my file system right now. See, it's asking for root access. That this application wants to access the root directory of my of my drive of my flash card and I'm gonna allow it so I'm gonna say yeah of course you can so what we've got here under storage I've got internal S external SD card and if I go back again I've got the root directory of my internal SD card as you can see I've got my system inside system I've got some apps these are all the apps you'll see like your Bluetooth your calculator, your calendar, all those things inside your phone that just work. This is where your system stores all those apps. So if you want to install an app manually, you can copy and paste it into your system directory, reboot your phone, and whatever app you put in there will work. And as you can see, I'm going into some other files, uh, into media and notifications, and I've got three little files here, and those are my notification sounds. So if you want to put some sounds on your device, you can put them into that folder. So if you haven't got root access, if your device isn't rooted, you can't access these folders. You can't copy files and applications into these certain folders that just won't let you do it. Which is why people want to root their device. They want to have full control. They want to have administration rights, I guess you can call it, to the, your device. Okay, so we've covered bootloader and routing. Now we're going to look at um, flashing and recovery. So before I do that, I'm going to look at my phone and you can see my kernel version. So what people do to root their device, the easiest way is to just flash a different kernel and leave the ROM as standard. So when I first bought my phone, it was um, it came with gingerbread, I think it was. And I went and found a different kernel that was pre-rooted and it had uh, super user already and built into that and clock it mod already built into that too so when I flash that kernel it enabled my device to be already rooted and what I've just done now is booted into my clock mod recovery which comes with this kernel that I'm running too and I'll show you you can see clockwork mod 6027 and that's the file system of clockwork mod recovery we've got all these different options to do we can install from SD card install zips, you can install uh, themes, you can reset to factory, you can make a backup. So what I'm going to do now is restore and show you that I've made a backup at this certain date. And I'm going to go back and what I'm going to do is back up the current ROM and kernel and all my messages and everything that I have currently on my device. And this is going to take a while so I'm going to fast forward this. Now, the reason why people do backup of their device 
is because if they want to flash a different ROM and something goes wrong, they can always restore from a point that they were before. Okay, so that backup is completed, and I'm going to go back and, and re reboot my device. So making a backup is really, really important. Every time you want to go into Clockwork Mod and modify something or change something, make sure you do a backup. It's just a fail save if something goes wrong. Now, bricking your device is if you are unable to boot your device and unable to flash a ROM. Now, this usually happens if something goes wrong in the flashing process, um, but generally, you are always able to use Clockwork Mod Recovery, and inside that, you can restore from a backup. If you aren't able to access Clockwork Mod Recovery, then you could possibly use Odin, which is a tool used on a computer, and you can try and flash from there. If you can't, then it's known as a hard brick and your device is kind of broken. Right, the last thing I want to talk about is APKs. Now, APK is a name for an Android application that can be installed on your device. Um, they're available from the Play Store and you can also sideload them, which means you can download them from a, a website outside of Google and you can install it. So, here you can see I've got a folder called APK and actually I think it's called apps, no APKs, and inside here are all my apps that I've downloaded from third party websites. So I can flash these on my device just by clicking on it. Let me say I'll just click on this live wallpaper and it says do I want to install it and I'll just click install. Now if you are doing this and it says uh, you can't install it, you need to go into settings and allow um, external installations, then you can just, just go into that. Now this video is not for an experienced Android user or an Android user that knows of these things. It's just for some people out there that are basically new to Android, are unsure what routing is and what um, all those terms I mentioned at the start of the video are. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to post a question below, um, and I will always help them out. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.